Hi everyone, in this lightning talk I will present Navigal, an Emacs Lisp library to develop tabulated list-based uh, user interfaces in Emacs. It's based on uh, Tablist by uh, Andreas Politz and it makes uh, things very easy. In this demo I will show how to create a simple file navigator using uh, Navigal. The first step is to create a command. Uh, so a command is a function uh, with the interactive keyword. Um, and Avigel, everything is based on entities. So an entity in this uh, case will be strings and strings representing uh, file names. So the initial uh, entity will be slash uh, and we will open uh, the navigator on slash, so the root directory of my file system. Uh, the thing I have to call is navigel open and pass it uh, the initial entity as first parameter. And for that to work, uh, navigel app uh, needs to be bound. So it's a variable. It can be bound to whatever you want, uh, usually symbols. And the symbol must uh, reflect the name of your application. So it's not visible for the user but uh, it will be useful uh, to uh, to specify all the behavior in Navigel. So let's evaluate uh, this and uh, call and call the command. So Navigel demo list file. If I press return here, I get an error saying that there is no applicable method Navigel children uh, and it takes slash as parameter. So this is normal. Uh, it means that uh, Navigel needs a way to know uh, what to do with slash. Uh, and the basic thing that uh, Navigel does is displaying the children of entities. Uh, so we need a way to say what are the children of slash. Uh, for that we need step two. So step two defines the Navigel children method. Uh, and the goal of uh, this method is to call callback. So the second parameter with a list of children uh, of the first parameter. So I'm getting the list of children for the first parameter by calling f entries. So this will list the files and directories of uh, the directory variable and will call callback with that as parameter. So now if I uh, launch the same command again, then I get an initial uh, buffer uh, showing this, uh, showing slash or the root of my file system. Uh, and it already works, so I can uh, go to uh, user and bean and uh, whatever I want. And I already have imenu support, so if I call imenu, uh, then I can uh, type the first elements of, uh, of a name and then select uh, from the <coughs> from the mini buffer what I want, and then it moves point directly to what I want. Uh, okay, so we could improve this uh, by not showing the full path. So let's fix that. Uh, for that, we need to override the navigal method, uh, the navigal name method, and return something different than uh, the entity itself. So here we'll use f file name to get the um, just the file name. Okay, let's try. Up, oh, you see now I just have uh, the last part of the of the file name. Uh, but how do I get to the parent uh, here? I would like to be able to go to the parent of this file to to go up in the hierarchy. Uh, for that, I need to override uh, navigel parent method, uh, which uh, is expected to return uh, the parent of the entity passed as parameter. So what happens now if I list, I can go to user pin and I can press caret or shift 6 on my keyboard and go up one directory and up. So this starts to work as well. Another feature I didn't demonstrate that already works um, is, um, is bookmarking. 
So you can bookmark uh, the buffers. So here I can uh, create a new bookmark that I will call uh, yeah, bin for example. The default is good, so I can also use use a bin. I press return, and now the bookmark is created. I can close all the buffer and yes, user bin it's the first one. I press return and I arrive directly to user bin directory. So I have uh, already iMenu and uh, bookmark support. Uh, I have uh, nice names here and I have uh, the possibility to go to the parent. All of that in uh, just a few lines of code. The, the step is to be able to open files. It's good to navigate directories, but I would like that uh, when I press enter on the file, it just uh, opens a new buffer with this file in it. So this is step five. Uh, I have to override the Navigal open, um, taking two parameters, uh, of which only the first one is of interest. And if the first parameter is a file, then I will call find file. Otherwise, the method will call cl call next method, which basically means do the default. Uh, so the default in this case will be uh, if it's a directory, then um, listed children in another buffer. So let's see what happens now. Uh, okay, user bin pass. It works. I can open files now. This is good. As you can see in Navigal, when you want to define behavior, uh, you just need to um, add new um, overrides for existing methods. Um, yeah. Okay, what we could do now? We'll get the size of uh, of the files um, alongside the names. Well, it would be a bit nicer. So let's add the size. Uh, so we need two columns now. Instead of having just one column in this view, we now need two. Um, so we need the size. Uh, so we need to override uh, tab list format. The first column is a size expressed in bytes, and I want it uh, right aligned. The 10 that you see here is the size of the column in the number of characters. And the second column will be the name, so the, the column we had before. And the zero means that it will take uh, the rest of the, the width of the buffer. Okay, but now we need to, to specify how to get the size of a file. This is done by overwriting another method, uh, which is a navigal entity to columns, which takes the file as parameter and returns a vector of uh, cells for the column defined here. Uh, so the first, the first cell is uh, the size in bytes uh, converted to a string, and the second cell uh, for the table will be uh, the name of the file. And now I have um, I have sizes. The last thing we could do uh, is to implement deletion support. So we can do that by just overriding the delete mat. Uh, let's go to TMP. Uh, I probably have some uh, demo here. And now I can uh, delete file with capital D. Uh, what I want to show here is that I can just select uh, the files and press capital D and delete the three files. And now they're gone. this is the end of uh, my demo. I hope you liked it and uh, I hope you start using uh, Navigal and build your own user interfaces with it.